After a career spent exclusively as an assistant coach, Norm Chow decided at the age of 65 to take his first head coaching job at Hawaii. His first season included a mere three victories and an eight-game losing streak. So will 2013 be any better? Managing editor Pete Futak is here to talk about not just the Warriors. They brought the rainbow back. Good for they are them. the rainbow uh, Warriors. Of course. All right, so as bad as things were in Honolulu last year, uh, Chow's team did win its final two games. Building off of that momentum, can they recapture that offensive dominance and prowess that we became There's used to? There's no Hawaii? Lamar on the schedule, and that's going to be the problem. 11 starters do return to the offense, but it was a big-time problem last year. The offensive line could not uh, block anybody. The quarterbacks were under siege all season long. There wasn't really enough of a running game to pick up the slack. Uh, experience has got to translate into production. You know, Chow, for being a legendary offensive mind, he hasn't really done much over the last decade since leaving USC. Uh, it's going to be tough, but it's really about the schedule. It's going to be better team, even worse record, just because of the slate. As bad as the offense was, it might surprise some people they were fourth in the Mountain West in yep. defense. They're going to be that good this year? The defense will be fine. It'll get the job done. It's going to be, you know, they attack, they're aggressive, their tackling's never a problem. They don't have a ton of talent on that side of the ball. Uh, but the problem is the offense was just so bad, it wasn't able to do its part. The defense can't win games by itself. Unless that offense improves by leaps and bounds, you're not going to see much of an improvement. So if they didn't have enough motivation to get through training camp, I mean, just look at their schedule. It's pretty tough. They face USC, then they head to Oregon State. So how do they fare in those games and the remainder of they'll the season? They'll lose. I mean, they'll lose to USC. They'll lose to Oregon State. I mean, the USC game is at home, but they're not going to lose to the Trojans. It's starting if they do, then Lane Kiffin's gone. That's not going to happen. Uh, the biggest problem for Hawaii is going to be the schedule. There just is not a team on this slate that you can say, okay, they're going to beat this team. Starting off against USC, Oregon State, they got to go to Nevada, deal with Fresno State. The winnable games are really on the road. UNLV, they got to go on the road for. They got to go to play at Wyoming. They got to play at Navy. They got to play at Utah State. They could beat San Jose State or Colorado State at home, but those teams are better than the Rainbow Warriors. I think they beat Army to end the season, but. Yeah, I don't. One and eleven is a little bit of an extreme pick, and I think that's probably what they're going to do. If you look at their schedule, they might win a couple games here and there. But again, if they win more than three games, it's going to be a shocker. Well, Hawaii fans, I'm sure, will hope you're no. wrong. <laughs> all right, Pete. Thanks very much. Previews on all 12 Mountain West football teams and an entire conference outlook. Check it out right now. The video's up on CampusInsiders.com.